If you're going to be investing in the Cleveland market, this is where you want to be. You want to make sure you get a boots-on-the-ground expert to review your deals before you pull the trigger. That's exactly what I'm doing on a four-unit complex for my client from California. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. This is where investors who want to buy in Cleveland go for all things information on their rental investments. My man, Jeff has been working with us to build himself a long-distance portfolio of rental properties. And it's a very well-diversified portfolio, I must say. Jeff, you and I, we are, as a matter of fact, we are closing it today. We are closing a high-end luxury short-term rental property. You found it. I analyzed it. You dug it. We're doing that deal. We're talking an A-grade house priced, I believe it was like 340 345 something like that, right? High-end stuff. And we're going to diversify your portfolio, right? Because diversification is king. You don't want to have all your eggs in one basket, of course, right? So what we're doing now, today, I'm looking at a four-unit complex. It's two little cottages and a duplex in like a low C-grade neighborhood, right? This thing, they're asking 140, right? So we're going from a $340,000 single all the way down to four friggin' houses for 140, right? Talk about diversification. But the cool thing is... They both make money, just in different ways. So let's take a quick break, and I'm going to jump into the full details on this investment for you. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's pull up the property, see what we got going on. Man, I actually, uh, <clears throat> I really dig this one, right? This is this is a really cool one, okay? They're asking $139.9, and it's been on the market for 71 days, right? I got to say, if you're in the Cleveland market, I love, I love Lorraine, dude. It is like so off the radar it's insane right you get cleveland and everybody right everybody from all over the world like you see you see the articles you see like realtor.com has interviewed me several times about cleveland this cleveland that right and you got the cleveland cavaliers cleveland browns cleveland indians or for you woke motherfuckers the cleveland guardians right you got all that stuff out there right and it's cleveland 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 people forget the Northeast Ohio area has more cities than Cleveland. Like, this city's like 30 minutes out, right? We manage a bunch of stuff in Lorraine, and it's just off the radar. Nobody's paying attention. And by the way, you see that photo right there, right? See this photo? I don't know if you can tell it's all small, but you, you see that? You see what that is? Yeah, that's Lake Erie, right? One of the five largest freshwater lakes in the United States of America, right? These are the houses, right? You got the little duplex action, two little cottages, right? All four of these units right on the friggin' lake. They're only asking 139 and they still haven't sold it because Lorraine is just so off the radar. There's just not a lot of people paying attention, right? There's that, and then there's also the fact that the rent low, rent roll <clears throat> appears to be pretty low. Uh, you get that, right? You get a lot of that when you're investing in these properties that are just being ran by, like, mom and pops, right? Not everybody that invests in real estate is running a big old freaking multi-million dollar operation like Holton Wise. Not everybody that's running these little rental properties has sold $200 million worth of this stuff, right? But luckily, you're working with Holton Wise, so you get that backing. And I can tell you, without a doubt, that these rents are way too low, right? 350 310 375 400 right? We're going to get those bad boys way up, man. There's a lot of meat on this bone, right? All four of these units, six fifty a pop, right? So that'll be market rent, $2,600 a month. That's over 31 Gs for the year. Now, of course, you don't get to keep all that. We got expenses. There is expense involved in operating a rental property. If you don't believe that, well, you should watch more of my show because I talk about it quite often, right? 
About $17,000 is what I anticipate it's going to cost to operate this property with my team doing all the property management on your behalf, leaving you with almost $14,000 in profit. And because it's been on the market and it hasn't moved, I don't actually think we need to pay uh, full freight, right? I think we could come in a little bit lower, right? Probably about 135. Ideally, I'd like to close it out for you at 135. Maybe though, maybe we go in at 139.9, and then after we get our inspection reports, I could use that as leverage to kind of beat the seller up a little bit, right? That's probably the move. But ideally, I would like to be targeting a 135 closing price on this, right? And then with financing. You put up 33 and three quarters. The bank kicks in another 101. That's going to be a long-term cash-on-cash projection return of 26%. Man, this is great. And I love this little neighborhood, dude. It's nice. It's solid. It's blue-collar. You can go cash tenants. You can go Section 8 tenants. Both work, right? For this property... I wouldn't be planning on kicking all four of those tenants out. I would want to slowly increase their rents, get them as close to that 650 as we possibly can, right? Because uh, unlike super luxury real estate, folks, when you're in the lower income space, which this is, yes, there is a lake right there, but, you know, these are still $650 units or currently, right, the people that are currently living there, right? If you're a very affluent person, you don't live in a home that only costs $310, right? So when you're in that business, you're going to, get a decent amount of turnover so what we never want to do we never want to create that artificial turnover right so what we want to do is we want to keep these folks in all of their units as long as we possibly can we want to delay doing a unit turnover when one naturally goes empty yeah we'll get in there pop a quick old refresh paint everything probably slap in some new countertops new new kitchen cabinets things of that nature and get a 650 fifty dollar tenant but what we want to do ideally is get these folks up to there right without doing the turnover because guess what you can't live anywhere else for 310 they got lucky with this mom and pop landlord who's just giving it away right but that's not what we're gonna do right we are gonna come in here we're gonna be fair but we have a bottom line to think about we are doing this not for charity but for money so we are going to need to increase those rents but this one is a hell of a deal uh i'm just Kind of shocked it's actually still on the market, but that just shows you how off the radar uh, Lorraine is. So this one, I friggin' love this one. Let's get it done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.